one of the fastest way to improve your health is to eat slowly. Today, you will be guided by the following expectations. First, discuss how digestive organs work together to carry out digestion of food and assimilation of nutrients. Next, cite some problems and disorders related to digestion. And last, practice moderation and healthy lifestyles. Get your pen and a notebook and answer the pretest. Let's begin. Question 1. What happens to the food in your small intestine? Is it A. Mechanical digestion happens? B. Water is absorbed? C. Undigested food is stored? Or D. Final digestion occurs? Next. How does the food move through the digestive tract? Is it A. By gravity B. By cilia C. By chemical absorption Or D. Wave-like muscle contraction Number 3. Pile is stored and concentrated in the Is it A. Gallbladder B. Urinary bladder C. Liver or D. Pancreas For question number 4, which of the following best maintain intestinal health? Is it A. Fatty food B. Fiber C. Starts or D. Vitamin And for number 5, which of the following is a chew which connects the mouth and stomach? Is it A. Trachea B. Larynx C. Esophagus or D. Pharynx Now, check your answer using this key to correction. 1D, 2D, 3A, 4B, 5D. How was your score? Just stay focused and we will continue with our lesson. Can you recall the topic in module 1? Okay. Identify the following life processes. Putting food in the mouth. Good. Ingestion. What about the breakdown of food molecules into simple and soluble form? Nice. The answer is digestion. Third, the digested food are absorbed by the villi of small intestine. Absorption. Correct. Second to the last, Simple products are used to build up bigger molecules of proteins and carbohydrates. Great, that's assimilation. And last, the undigested food are moved out of the body. Excretion. You are doing well. Food fuels the body for the needed energy and to maintain its basic life processes. Are you familiar with these organs and their function? Yes, you're correct. They help in breaking down of big, complex food molecules. The organs of digestion has two parts. First are the organs of elementary tract or digestive tract, which includes mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. And the second part, the accessory organs, such as salivary glands, liver, and pancreas. Digestion begins in the mouth. It is made possible because of dirty teeth used for biting and chewing. Your tongue that mixes food with saliva and pushes the food as you swallow. After you swallow the food, it passes through the pharynx, it is 5 to 6 inches long, then to the esophagus, then down into the stomach by wave-like contraction and relaxation of muscles known as peristalsis. Your stomach has many folds called drugae 
and within these folds are gastric glands which secretes gastric juices that digest protein. Your stomach has the storage capacity of about 1000 ml. After a few hours, the partially digested food, known as chyme, is emptied in small intestine for final digestion. But wait, what will happen to the undigested food? The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long. will absorb water from it. The remaining materials are passed into the rectum where they are stored temporarily and waiting to be adjusted out of the body as waste. How can these organs help in digestion? Your salivary glands, which include parotid, sublingual, and submaxillary, secret saliva which moistens the food and enzymes that digest carbohydrates. Next is your liver, which secretes the bile. Bile breaks the fats into smaller droplets. And lastly, the pancreas that secretes various digestive enzymes. Here is the summary of the process of digestion. In your mouth, we have mechanical digestion through biting, swallowing, chemical digestion of carbohydrates, whereas in your stomach, we have mechanical digestion through mixing, chemical digestion of proteins, and last, in your small intestine, chemical digestion of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, nucleic acids, and last, in your large intestine, we have absorption of water. We can help our digestive organs to function well by having a diet rich in fiber, drinking enough amount of water, light exercises after eating, skipping the meal, overeating, and other unhealthy lifestyle and practices. We pose danger to our digestive organs. Here are some of the common disorders. Ulcer of stomach, colon cancer, indigestion, flatulence, and many more. Strengthen your understanding of the topic by answering the following activities. Alright, it is time to wrap up our lesson through this activity. Digestion is a process of the answer is breaking down food into simple components that the cells can use. The human digestive system has the organs of alimentary tract that comes in contact with the food and the accessory organs to pour out secretions to, to assist in the digestive. And remember, a healthy diet and process plus some technologies will promote proper nutrition and overall wellness. Remember this, a healthy body starts with a healthy plate. What a timely reminder. After a long process of digestion, it is time to find out if you absorb some nuggets of ideas by answering the process. Question 1. In what organ is food completely digested and absorbed? Is it A. Liver B. Mouth C. Stomach D. Small intestine Which of the following is a function of the gallbladder? Is it A. Produced bile B. Attached the pancreas C. Stores and concentrates bile or D. Produce insulin For question number 3, which of the following practices is helpful to our digestive organs? Is it A. Ice cold drinks after meal B. Intake of ready to eat food C. Raw diet and rich in fiber or D. Eating smaller portion of food For number 4, which of the following is 
are correctly matched? Is it A. Digestive, small and thin. B. Circulatory, blood. C. Respiratory, lungs. Or D. All of the above. Last for question number 5. Many people died of colon cancer. We can prevent this from happening to us by A. Consulting a doctor B. Eating food rich in fiber C. Drinking enough amount of water or D. All of the above Here are the answers for our post test. 1D, 2C, 3C, 4C, 5D You are doing well in this little test. Remember, a healthy plate and a healthy lifestyle and habits will contribute to a healthy body. That's all for now. Have a nice day.